so glad you're here. My name is Tanisa and I'm so excited to be here with you. Are you having a super day? What? I said, are you having a super day? Yeah! Super! To get things started, I think we should shout out super duper loud, hey super friends. So on the count of three, I wanna hear you. So here we go. One, two, three, hey super friends. Whoa, that was definitely super. It sounds like everyone is ready, ready, ready. You and I are gonna do something fun together. And we'll see what our super friends are up to. We'll learn something from the Bible and then we'll sing and dance to some super songs. And of course, we get to have some fun. Are you all super excited to get started? Yeah! Yes? Great! Now later today, I'm planning to go swimming and I thought you could help me get ready. I've got all these things and I need you to tell me what we need to use. Do you like to go swimming? Yeah! Do you know what I need to have to go swimming? Yeah! Do you think you can help me? Yeah! Okay! Here we go. It looks like I've got lots of things here and I need your help to know if it would be super for swimming or not. If it's something I can use to swim, I want you to use your arms to swim in place and say super for swimming as loud as you can. Let's try that on the count of three. One, two, three, super for swimming. Great job. But if it's not super for swimming, I need you to put your arms up like this and say no way as loud as you can. On the count of three, let me hear you say no way. Okay, one, two, three, no way. Good job. Okay, let's see what we have first. Hmm, we have goggles. What do you think? Would goggles be super for swimming or no way? Yes, goggles would be super for swimming. Let's put these on here and see. Oh, there we go, okay. Let's see, what else do we have? We have this book. Would this be super for swimming or no way? You're so right. I can't read a book while I'm swimming. That is definitely a no way. Okay, let's see, what do we have next? Next it is sunscreen. Is sunscreen super for swimming or no way? Sunscreen is definitely super for swimming. Hmm, let's get some sunscreen on here. I think I'm gonna, I think I need some on my nose. There we go, okay. Let's see, what else do we have here for swimming? We've got some, we've got some winter gloves. Do you think winter gloves are super for swimming? Or no way? I think you're right. Winter gloves are a no way for swimming. Let's get rid of those. Hmm, I think we have one more thing. Let's see, our last item is, <gasps> It's a floaty. Do you think this floaty is super for swimming or no way? <gasps> Great idea. This is super for swimming. You all are such good friends for helping me get ready for swimming. And now it's time for us to get really comfy because we have an amazing story for you today. Hey everybody, the name's JJ, short for Jumping Jenny. I love to jump around and I'd love to stay and hang out with you guys today, but oh, I'm in such a hurry and I'm so worried and I don't know what I'm gonna do. Hey JJ. Hey Stanley, hey Rex. JJ, did you say you were worried? What's wrong? Yeah, Zip, I, I can't hang out with you guys today. I'm in such a hurry and I just can't. What's wrong? Why are you so upset? I've been playing all day and it's almost time to go. I've had so much fun all day, but but now I can't find my jump rope. Oh no, JJ. Did you look everywhere? Yeah, I looked everywhere. I went to the slide and the swings and the sandbox and the teeter-totter and it's nowhere. It was my favorite jump rope and now I've lost it. Oh no, JJ. I'm so sorry you can't find it. Zip. I don't like seeing JJ so upset. I know, 
But what can we do? We know, Stanley. We want to be good friends to JJ, but how can we help? Oh, that's a great idea. Rex, why didn't we think of that? I don't know, but it is a great idea. When we don't know what to do, and we need to find a clue, there's a place we can look. We just look in the book. We'll see what we can see, and super friends we will be. Hey, boys and girls. My name's Sabrina, and I'm so excited to tell you something amazing I've read in my favorite, favorite book. Do you know what book I'm talking about? It's the Bible. That's right. The Bible is important because it helps us know how much God loves us. So I read in my Bible about someone you might have heard of before. His name is Jesus. Yeah, Jesus was helping people. He was teaching them how to be a good friend. And everywhere Jesus went, people crowded around him because they wanted to learn more and more. One day, Jesus taught them something very important about being a good friend. In the story Jesus told, there was a man. This man was traveling down a road toward a town named Jericho. All of a sudden, two bad guys jumped out from their hiding spot and began to hurt the man. These guys were really bad. They were not nice, and it is not okay to hurt people. There was no one there to help. The bad guys hurt him so badly that the man couldn't move. He just laid there on the road, hurt. This hurt man really needed some help. Hey, let's pull out our pretend binoculars to see if we can see anyone coming that can help. And let's look this way. Do you see anyone coming? Nope, neither do I. Let's look this way. Oh, I see someone coming. He looks like he might be nice. Oh, surely he'll help the hurt man, right? Boys and girls, do you think that this man will stop and help? Okay, let's find out. So he walked up and he saw the hurt man and he kept on walking. What? He just walked on by and didn't stop to help. Wait, just a minute. This guy did not stop to help. This is not good. He's not being a good friend at all. And that means our hurt man still doesn't have anybody to help yet. Okay, that means we're gonna have to keep looking for someone else to pass by. Pull out those binoculars again and put them on and let's look for someone else. Do you see anybody coming? I don't see anyone. Let's look this way. Do you see anyone? Oh, I see someone. Do you see him? He's coming right this way. Oh, this is such good news. Surely this man will stop and help. Surely this man will stop and do something, right? Okay, let's see what happens. He's walking, he's walking, he's looking, and he keeps on walking. He didn't even stop to help. This isn't looking so good. We've gotta keep looking for someone to help. Pull out your binoculars and let's look again. Let's look this way. Oh, I see someone. Uh-oh, this isn't good. The man that was coming is from a town called Samaria and no one liked the Samaritans. Everyone thought the Samaritans were really mean. I don't know if this Samaritan is gonna help. What do you think? Okay, well, let's see. He's walking, he's walking, he's stopping. Hooray, he did help. The Samaritan, the man who no one thought would help, helped. He took the hurt man to a place where he would be safe and he could clean him up and bandage all of his boo-boos. This man was a good friend. 
When Jesus finished telling the story, he asked all the people listening, who was a better friend to the hurt man? Was it number one? Was it number two? Or was it number three? Yeah, you're right, friends. It was number three. He was kind to the man that was hurt and he cared for him and he helped him. Just like the good Samaritan was a good friend, you can be a good friend too. And you can help others. Hey, fist pump in the air and say, yeah, if you can get a Band-Aid, if your friend gets hurt. Yeah, great job. Fist pump in the air and say, yeah, if you can get your friend a drink of water when they're thirsty. Yeah, good job. Okay, now fist pump in the air and say, yeah, if you're going to be a good friend all week long. Yeah, amazing. I knew that you were super good friends and you can be a good friend and I can be a good friend. Let's pray together and thank God for being our good friend and for helping us to be good friends too. If you're ready to pray, you know what to do. Give me a big clap. Dear God, thank you so much for being our good friend. And thank you for helping us to be good friends too. We love you so much, God. Amen. Wow, that was so awesome. I'm going to remember all week long that I can be a good friend. I'll catch you next time, friends. Bye. Hey, Zip, that gives me an idea. You know how that one person was a good friend and helped the hurt man? Yeah. Well, I think we can be good friends and help JJ. I know she's not hurt, but we can help her find her jump rope. That's a great idea, Rex. Hey, JJ, we want to help you find your jump rope. I'll go check again at the sandbox and swings. And I'll go look around the slide. JJ, look, Stanley found your jump rope. What? No way. Really? Are you sure it's mine? It is mine. Thanks, guys. Absolutely. I'm glad we could help. That's right, Stanley. We can always learn ways to be good friends when we look in the book. Well, friends, Rex and I are going to keep hanging out, but we hope you have a great week. Just remember, God is a good friend, and I can be a good friend, too. Who can be a good friend? I can be a good friend. That's, That's right. right. I, I can, can be, be a, a good, good friend. friend. See you later, super friends. Bye. Wow, I really liked that Bible story all about the Good Samaritan. And now I need you to all stand up on your feet. Yep, all of you stand up, stand up. Now let's get ready to sing and dance and have some fun. Shine. He's the one who puts the moon in the sky.
super time together today. But before we say goodbye, I have some birthdays to celebrate. So help me wish a happy birthday to Harper, Jack, Lillian, and Micah. Have a super birthday. Now guess what time it is. That's right, it's time for the Super Friends prize box. Hey Super Friends, this is our final weekly draw. Are you ready? Here we go. This week's winners are... Brooks F and Eliana G. Congratulations, friends. Don't forget, if you want a chance to win your very own Super Stanley, you need to send us in those videos of being a super friend and memorizing your August memory verse. So make sure to send them in. That's all for now, friends. Well, that's all for us today. See all of you super friends later. Bye.